Hello everyone! Tonight I am making Hawaiian turkey burgers. These amazing burgers are some of the most sweetest and juiciest burgers you'll ever make. I just know you're gonna love them. Let's get started! First things first, I pop a... <laughs> Psych, I'm just kidding y'all. First I'm gonna cut some green peppers into small pieces like this. I used a half of a pepper. When you're done, set them aside and then grab some green onions. About two to three stalks should suffice. Then chop those up into small pieces. You can mince them as well if you don't like chunky pieces of onion. Next, I took about a cup to a cup and a half of fresh spinach leaves and rolled them together in a bunch, then chopped them into small slices. Now it's time to prepare our burger patties. Place your ground turkey into a large bowl. Then grab your diced peppers and onions and toss those in with the meat. Now I'm going to pour in a fourth cup of pineapple juice. Then I'm going to sprinkle on some of my girl Tabitha Brown sunshine seasoning, okay? And don't forget that good old garlic powder, guys. Garlic powder just seems to enhance the flavors of mostly all of your foods. Now, sprinkle on a dash or two of pink Himalayan salt and a couple shakes of ground black pepper. And now it's time to mix, mix, mix it up. Take your spoon and mix everything up until you have a nice even mixture. You wanna make sure that all of your seasonings and veggies are evenly distributed in your meat. This makes for a better burger patty, okay? Trust me. Now we're gonna make our filling for our burger. Take one cup of shredded Italian cheese and add it to the bowl with your spinach. Now, you want to go ahead and add in the feta cheese crumbles. I used a half a cup. Now this is about a good mixture, but guys, make sure it's mixed up real good. I just realized that I probably should have used a bigger bowl, but you know what? It's too late now. Let's see if I can manage to mix it all up without spilling any out of the bowl. Now it's time for the fun part. Let's form the patties. I'm using gloves so the meat doesn't stick to my fingers, but you can do whatever you please. I took a nice size bowl of the turkey mixture and shaped it into a nice quarter pound size patty. Then I placed it on my cutting board. Repeat this step until all of your patties are formed. Now take the filling mixture you made and place a dollop of it in the middle of each patty. Now I'm gonna take a spatula and fold them in half. You will have to form the patties over again. Make sure to press around the edges to ensure the filling stays in the middle of the patty. This step is very important because you don't want it oozing out while you're cooking. Now this is how it should look when you're done. Now take your sunflower oil or whatever oil you're using and drizzle it in your already heated pan. Grab your patties and place them in your pan and cook them until they are halfway done. When they're halfway done, make sure to flip them so they can cook evenly on each side. This is how they'll look when they're halfway finished. Now, while those are finishing up cooking, we're going to make the sauce that's going on our burgers. In a separate bowl, add in a third cup of teriyaki sauce and two tablespoons of barbecue sauce. All right. Now, take a whisk or a hand mixer. I don't think you need that, though. A whisk should be good enough. Mix it well for about one minute or so, and then you're gonna go ahead and set it aside. Now, by this time, your burger should be done cooking. Take them out and place them aside. I'm sitting mine in a glass pan. They should look like they have a nice char on each side like they were grilled. Now grab six to seven pineapple slices and place those flat down in the same pan. We're using the same pan, guys. We're gonna cook these until they have a nice char on each side. It's going to take about three to four minutes on each side, okay? When you're done, take them out and place them aside. We're going to be using them in a second. Now, grab your brioche buns and spread a thin layer of butter on the inside of each half. I'm using a vegan butter, but you can use whichever butter you have. It's up to you, okay? Just make sure each half is covered nicely with that butter. When we're done, we're gonna go ahead and toast those back in the pan, butter side down, and toast them for a couple seconds. When you're done, take them out, place them on your plate. 
Now we're going to spread on a thin layer of mayo. I'm using a vegan mayo. Then I'm going to go ahead and place my burger patty on. Top it with some of those pineapples that we set aside. And pour on that good old sauce. And top with your top bun. There you have it, guys. It's all done. Hope you enjoy it. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button.